Hi, everybody. I'm Joel Simmons for another Two Minute Turf Talk. I'm sitting in my office in Easton, Pennsylvania, the East Coast, and for the last week and a half at least, we've been dealing with 90 plus degree weather, and it's been very toasty and very warm and very humid, and it doesn't look like it's going to change. And we're sitting here in the end of June. This usually doesn't happen until July, August in the East Coast. And as I've talked to superintendents and turf managers all across the country, Many places in the country are dealing with this kind of heat stress. So what this typically means to the turf manager and to the soil is that we've been adding a lot more irrigation water. And often that irrigation water is going to be rich in things like sodium. And when that sodium starts to accumulate in the soil, now we start to have an issue where sodium-induced wilt problems become prevalent. And we've talked about sodium-induced wilt here on the Turf Talk many times. The best way to solve this problem is to bring potassium to the table. Take a look at this particular soil test of a client we ran this week. You can see here that he is down over 100 pounds of potassium, and sodium levels are definitely creeping up. This is definitely an issue of potassium-sodium imbalance. Take a look at this paste extract of a client here on the East Coast. This happens to be a series of tea boxes, and you can see sodium levels are very strong and potassium levels are weak. And what's happening now is sodium is flushing into the plant and there's nothing to keep it at bay. So the best solution is keeping potassium levels strong, which will fight off that flush of sodium into the plant and, and help us fight off sodium-induced wilt. Now, obviously, this time of year when it's that hot, uh, you know, potassium sulfate, OO50, may not be the best choice. It can, can damage turf. It can, it can get a little tip burn if, uh, if the temperature and the environment is correct. But as you can imagine, here at Earthworks, we have a solution to that. Recently, we built a product called K-Vantage, and it was built under our new eco-adaptive technology. And this was the first product using eco-adaptive technology. And this was a, a process by which it allows all of the elements within the product to be equally balanced so that the uptake, in this case particularly potassium, can really be taken into that plant and fight this battle. So if you're dealing with sodium issues and heat stress issues, Here's one way to get a lot of carbon into the program, support the microbiology, and also push potassium into the cell to fight off sodium-induced wilt issues at this time of year when it's absolutely bloody hot.